Welcome to another edition of Smalltalk for you. This morning I wanted to kind of walk through a basic usage scenario with VA Smalltalk of how to create an application and a class and just get started with all of that in the system. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the Applications menu and I'm going to create a new application. And I'm going to bring this over and it wants a name for it. So I'm going to call it Counter App. So I'll say OK. And then it already exists because I've gone through this offline. So I'll just say OK to that message. And then it's going to ask me what prerequisites does this guy have? So I'm going to give it the basic ABT base app. So I just want it to be dependent on the minimal stuff in VA Smalltalk. So I'll say OK to that. And now I've got my new application. Now at this point, I need a new class because I want to just have some code. So I'm going to add a new class on the class menu. I'm going to pick new class. And it's going to pop up a little dialog for me, which came up on the wrong screen. So let's move that over. I want this to be a subclass of object. I want to go with the default. So hit OK on that. And then it's going to ask me for the name. So I'll call it class counter. So I'll say OK to that. And then finally, it asks me what kind of subclass. Well, I want it to be a subclass. I don't want it to be a variable subclass. I don't want it to be any of these interesting things. So let's just go with the defaults again. And we'll create class counter. So now at this point, I have no instance variables. I want this thing to be able to do some stuff. So I'll give it an instance variable called count. And I'll hit Control S to compile that. And that went ahead and did that. Now I don't have any accessors, so what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to go over here and add a category. And I've already added something called accessing, so you notice this comes up in the prompter. I could have also typed a new name if I had a new category. Let's just go with that. And then finally, if I want to add the new method, I need to select method source. Notice it defaulted me to the class definition. I need to go to method source. And at this point, I'm going to add an accessing method called count that just returns count and hit that is the Thing that's prompting me for things that are possible here. So I'll just go with return and accept that. Control S accepts it. And now using the same template, I'm going to add a setter. And I'm just going to change this to colon equals a number and get rid of the return. And you notice the interesting thing that happens here, even though I went over the other template, when I hit Control S, it doesn't change the definition. It adds a new method. So the only way you change the definition is if you leave the definition up here alone and change the code down here, that will update the method. If I override the whole thing, this existing method just acts as a template. And you'll see that when I do this. Let's go ahead and add a new method here to this. We'll call this category API, because I want to add some code that does something interesting to this. So I'm going to go into my API category, and I'm going to add a method called add one, self count, self count plus one, and we'll have control S. And now we have some code. Now at this point, I can go ahead and try this out. So let's go ahead and do file new. And we'll get a little workspace up here. And we'll create a temporary variable. And we'll say something like counter colon equal counter new. And because I didn't add any initialization, let's do counter count and set it to zero. And then counter add one just to see what happens. And we'll go ahead and inspect all of that. And we should get back an instance of our counter. If I pull that over, you notice the count set to one. So it tells me that right here. And I've got working code. So now what I've done is I've gone from start to finish just creating a class and been able to start using it. Now at this point, the only other thing I'd really need to do is release this into NB. Now all the code is saved. If I were to quit this image right now, I'd be able to get all this work back. But it's in a scratch edition. If I wanted to actually version this, I'd have to go through all of that. But I'll do that in another screencast. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.